everyone, welcome back. Um, this week I'm going to do something a little bit different that I haven't done yet. Um, about two, three episodes ago I talked about World of Warcraft, I talked about my play history and uh, the class I play, showed my UI, so on and so forth. Um, in this episode I thought, why not let's actually show an actual gameplay um, of World of Warcraft. So we're going to be running a dungeon together. Um, again, raw footage. It, this is the real thing so um, we're gonna do not a random dungeon but a mythic dungeon um, I'll explain as I get a group going so give me a couple seconds um, I'm gonna set up a, a couple of things and uh, once everything's ready we'll switch it over to the actual uh, game itself so um, in the meantime I'm gonna start explaining about the def the difference between normal heroic and mythic dungeon so in the game you a normal dungeon is when you're trying to level through trying to level up your character to max level so you would do normal dungeons um, there's different dungeons for different um, level groups um, once you get to the max level which at this time is a hundred you can start doing heroics now heroics are meant to be used as a way to gear your character um, before taking them to an actual raid instance. Um, raid instances are the difficulty level where you want to be at. Uh, they're a little bit dif difficult to get to, but um, that's why you have the heroic dungeons to, sh to help you to get that level of um, experience in a way even though dungeons don't really teach you they teach you the basics not to stand and stuff um, basic maneuvers mechanics it's just I don't it, it 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 helps you for the basics until you have to hop on or jump into an actual raid setting and it it, it well the raid setting just kind of like <laughs> slaps you into place so um, as of now I'm trying to find a a mythic dungeon because with the normal and heroics you can queue for them so you can there's like a little um I'll just show you give me one second and switch it over so we do that and then we do that and that okay so just a couple of things I <laughs> did so, okay, where I'm in right now, it's pre-made groups. So the pre-made groups, you type in Mythic, and you search for whatever your class is. So I'm a healer, so I'm looking for groups, like, for example, these ones right here, that don't have a healer. Um, more so than ever, you want to find groups that are, you know, already filled, and they just need your class. Um, so in this case, I'm just trying to find one like this one for example that just needs a healer so what I would do is you just type in what you are your item level which is a 735 and I am a disc priest so you sign up and now you just wait for them to invite you um, different things that you can check if you're locked out out of a certain um, dungeon you can just check here so the one I'll be doing is Akundun one of the longer ones so yay the good thing um, so you just wait for them to invite you see and I got an invite from that so as I was saying about the dungeon finder so you can queue for these mythics you can't you have to actually form a group um, so you have to be sure that the group is competent um, it, 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 it's a weird concept but I understand why they they have it that way so we're going to Akindun so my point of the matter is I'm going to switch this back and once we're in I will switch it back so give me one second I just need to remember where the instance is at um, But yes, the actual gameplay is, is a lot of fun. I love playing this game. It's... It, I don't know. It's just it's just a lot of fun to play. Um, uh, where am I trying to go? <clears throat> is 
and shatter at the city. I believe so, but I don't want to go to the wrong one. Okay, so now we're flying. We will get there. We might get a summon. The summon is used for, as it states, summoning the person to that location. Um, it's really helpful. So you have a summoning stone next to set instance. It takes two people to click. And you get a summon and you're ported to them. Just part of the game. <laughs> um, but yeah, this should be fun. Let's hope it doesn't go horrible. And yeah. Yay! We're just flying now. Just keep flying, flying, flying. So, uh, 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 you will get the noise of the dungeon. So once we're there, you'll have um, just the regular animation. So, yep, that's where it for now. I guess um, that's what we're doing right now. Just trying to see where... Why am I drawing a blank on this? So, um, again, in my video that I talked about, my primary spec right now is Holy, um, but I'm going to play Disc for this instance. Um, Disc is a lot better, just in general. Um, I think I talked about that in the guild that I joined. I had to play Holy, so that's the spec I have more um, items for, but it doesn't really matter. So, we got summoned to the instance, so now... Let me switch it over. So, there we are. This is the instance right here, Auchendune. And we're just going to go in right now. And you'll get a little feel of what the instance is going to look like, roughly. <coughs> so, oop, we're in. <coughs> so, here we go. This should be fun. Enjoy. So, as a Discipline Priest, their main things are to heal. I'm a healer, as I said, so... Oh, that's right. That person is not. <clears throat> so... You have to keep everyone alive. Which I'm currently not doing right now. So there we go. Making sure everything works. Technical difficulties, gotta love those. No, no, we're still gonna have technical difficulties. See? And this is what we call the raw footage. Oh, there we go. We 
something finally works. So. Normally I would just take this so it doesn't take too much of my space up, but it shows you the number of bosses there, so I'll leave that up. We're waiting for the first boss to come out. Yeah, there we go. Alright. And this is our first boss. Simple mechanics, nothing too difficult. Just don't stand on anything that looks bad. <laughs> the game is pretty straightforward with that. So, Ooh, you gotta look for your surroundings, making sure again you're not standing in anything bad. Nope. And always making sure to stand behind this shield as he's casting that because it inflicts a lot of damage to everyone. And I don't know why I'm using that voice, but I am. <laughs> oh, see, easy enough. Nothing interesting. Why is this moving around? Ugh. Well.
I will coil your souls into darkness. She's targeting me. Nope, not anymore. surroundings. That uh, would end pretty badly. Excuse that, please. Normally with these bosses, um, we have it on uh, group personal loot, so when a boss dies, you would loot the corpse, as I just did, and it, depending, you, you, you would either get gold or a piece of, um, or an item. So, I have been getting gold because I've been getting funds because I don't need much of it, but it's all at random, of course. <clears throat> Excuse me. And as I said, these, this instance is one of the longer ones, um, which is a good thing because since I'm demonstrating, it all depends. There's, um, I don't want to get this thing correct, but I think there's seven different ones or seven or eight different ones. Let's double check, shall we? So we don't, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight of them, different ones. So, and they all, depending on the group you're with, this group is doing fairly well, um, so it's going pretty well, so yay for us viewers. <laughs> oh, well, that didn't end so well for him, did it? <laughs> These creatures just tend to... Yeah, so we should be done fairly soon. No, we just have to wait for him to come back. But in the meantime, we still have more um, creatures to kill, or as in the game, it's called trash um, to kill. So he has time to reach us. If you hear footsteps in the background, that is just because that is my brother in the background, if you can hear. <laughs> Ooh. Again, that could end pretty badly. just typed in party chat that he can pull that other group as well so so we can make this a bit interesting <laughs> so it's actually going fairly well so it's a group effort and this group like I stated is doing really well so Well, 
Okay, let's toss him a nice fortitude buff. He feels loved. <laughs> All right, let's get this third one down. Here we go. everyone up. See, and playing a Disciplined Priest is fairly simple. There's not much to it. You use the main spell, which is Powered Shield, shielding your ally so they don't take more damage. It absorbs uh, damage coming in. It's a shield. So... third one. Eh, got a little bit rough. Not too badly. Let's watch this cutscene. I usually skip it, but for the sake of this video, nice cutscene. Ugly person. <clears throat> Actually, pretty cool horns. I like his horns. We got something. Ooh. This is what we get for watching cutscenes. <laughs> but mainly the cutscene just showed all of those just coming out. So I need to get with them. All right, minor casualty. Let's just get this through. <laughs> oh, chaos wave is a bad way. Ooh, and I'm standing all over it. Spell that as we did. Oh, there you go. On to the next one. But yeah, see, this is what we got. I will show it up here. Crit mastery. Um. Yeah. Not 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 bad. But we currently have on better, so I'll show you this and these are what I have right now 740 so to the very last guy, last boss, excuse me. Thank you. 
So, I should be explaining a bit more, I apologize. So what I'm doing now, this, the main, well, main spell is called Smite. Um, Discipline Priest, what you can do is you, you can attack, so I'm offensively attacking right now, and it heals my allies for a small amount. Um, Discipline Priest is one of the class, or the class, I think there's another class, um, but is the main class that you can attack with that heals your allies, um, so you can help damage um, enemies and help out your team a bit more other than just straight healing using healing spells which I have down here. Um, so as I'm attacking I also gain what is a evangelism buff. Evangelism creates this which is an archangel. When it's activated it increases my healing for um, it increases my healing for 25% for about, I believe it's 18 seconds. Yes, 18 seconds. So that's that's a big, big, big part of Discipline Priest because it helps you in a really bad situation. Uh, you can easily bring up your allies. The other spell that I use is Halo. Um, it's a big range of effect spell that again heals um, the other main one is called penance which you can use it offensively offensively or defensively um, i use it either or depending on how badly in this case i'm using it defensively but it just depends on how badly uh, my allies need it so there we go there you have it that's the end. I know, uneventful, isn't it? <laughs> but let's collect our last bit and part farewell with this group. Oh, there we go. And we just say thank you and we part ways right now. There we go. You just teleport back to your main area. So, there you have it. Not so exciting. <laughs> it, it's exciting. Um, but one of the many dungeons that we have to run, uh, that one really smoothly. Um, there's just some times where it doesn't go that smoothly, so we got lucky. Yay! <laughs> Fate was on our side. <laughs> but thanks for tuning in this week. Um, hope you all had a great week as well. And I'll see you guys next, next Sunday. Thank you guys. Take care. Um, before I send leave <laughs> for any comments about anything that i just did go ahead and leave a comment below um yeah i'll answer anything you guys have a question in regards to but that was the gameplay for world of warcraft uh, discipline at that time i'll do another one for holy um so you can see the different variations of healing styles um so but yes thank you again for tuning in hope you guys have a great week and see you next sunday bye guys